Hey y'all, Caleb here. Uh, so I was going to do uh, a different video this week, uh, but I've been a bit under the weather. Um, and so instead I thought uh, I'd do a quick video um, letting you know some of the the uh, topics or um, um, items that I plan on uh, doing videos on over the next few weeks, uh, next month or so. Um, so next week, uh, I think I'm going to do a, um, a video going over how to manage secrets, um, in .NET. Um, right. There's, there's a few different ways that you can do it, um, especially, uh, in development. And so, uh, we're going to dig into that. And then after that, I want to um, kind of take that idea and actually show you how you can uh, manage your secrets, your keys using Azure Key Vault, uh, which is really useful, especially if you're if uh, if everything you're doing is is up in Azure, Azure App Services, uh, Azure databases, so on and so forth. Um, then after that, uh, the plan is to um, look at uh, managed identity um, in a uh, .NET application hosted in Azure. Um, and managed identity is um, basically the idea that if you're in Azure and you're, you're using Azure Active Directory, whether they're um, internal or external users, um, if they've been invited in, uh, you can use managed identity to, to allow them access and to allow them to see and do, uh, certain things inside your application. Uh, and then, uh, after managed identity, uh, we're actually going to look at, um, shared access signatures, uh, which is a, another, uh, layer of security, uh, that you can, can add to your application. Um, especially if you're using uh, things like uh, Cosmos DB or um, uh, storage accounts, right? And you don't want them to be public, uh, but you still want to be able to to access um, data, whether it's text or images or video or whatever, um, and uh, have it be be secure and only be accessible from people who actually have been given access. Uh, after that, um, we're going to continue along with um, Azure Storage and look at using the um, Azure Storage uh, emulator um, in your development environment, as well as uh, Azure Storage Explorer. Um, and then after that, we'll probably uh, uh, start digging into some entity framework um, topics uh, like um, fluent migrations and uh, things of that nature. So um, sorry, there's no video this week, um, but uh, I'm going to rest over the weekend and, and uh, hopefully be, be good to go next week. And uh, we'll do that video on uh, managing um, secrets in .NET. Hope y'all have a great weekend. And um, oh, one more thing. Um, if there is a topic or a subject that you're interested in me digging into, uh, please leave a comment um, and I'll take a look and see what I can do. All right. Bye, y'all.